There it goes again. There it goes again, bro. It's pulling on my crucifix. I want to get out of here. I don't want to manifest whatever was trying to push me out. That's not human. Like those eye sockets and That's weird, man. <laughs> to this day, that still with me because that makes no damn sense. The whole building changed, bro. Like, and that doorway is right on that side of that wall. And you can tell, you can go look at it and it is solid brick. There's no transom window. There's never been something filled in. That's what fucks me the most. Today I'm traveling far, far from home with no friends, no family, 100% completely alone. While visiting some of the scariest, most haunted places in the world. Everyone has fears, and so do I. Some things feed off those fears, becoming prevalent when you're on one's top. I will attempt to explain the unexplainable while facing my own fears. I may have an answer while I embark. One thing is certain, I'm alone in the dark. I can't believe you're doing this by yourself. <laughs> There's no f window in that archway. Where'd that come from? And then the whole background, where'd the bench go? It's buildings. Like, it doesn't make sense at all. But if I go literally like this, go like this, and I f go like this, that's straight up me. That is my f doppelganger, 100%. I haven't s No, I knew about it though, because I was having people that would be like, I would do a tour, let's say 20 people. And the way we run is we go up the stairs, we go into the room, then we end up way back there. And then I'm like, let's go to the ballroom or Ghost Adventures, blah, blah, started. So we come around and then we go to the ballroom. Well, I would get like four people, five people in the ballroom. The rest would start going up the stairs. And I'd come around and be like, where are you guys going? And they're like, how'd you get down there so fast? I'm like, what are you talking about? We were falling up the stairs. How'd you get behind? Is there another staircase? Like everyone was confused and I'm like, what are you talking about? So that started happening almost every day. This is getting really weird because I'm not going up the stairs. There's no other way to get to the ballroom. And then I started having overnights come up the next day after they would stay the night and they'd come up to me and go, did we do something wrong? I'm like, what are you talking about? We saw you last night go up the stairs to the third floor and we tried talking to you and you wouldn't even talk to us. You just went up there and we'd come after you because we thought we did something wrong and you were gone. Like, are you mad at us? And I'm like, the f what are you talking about? I didn't even come in the building last night. Like, I, cause I'll tell people, I'm like, hey, yo, I'm gonna come in and check on you guys. Just most of the time, I usually don't unless I get a bad vibe off of them. But that was, I used to do security at the union. So I would get off work here and I'd go stay at the union brewery till like four in the morning. So I'm like, I was working at the union last night. I wasn't on this side of town. And they're like, we followed you. And I'm like, this is weird. It hit a point where I came up one day and I was like, yo, whatever the f you are, stop. Cause this is getting out of hand. I have not had a problem of it since. Well, and that started too, so, well, you, you know, there, there used to be a dark thing upstairs on the third floor, but it was actually from the ballroom. Red room, that's not where it actually was. It was created in the ball, and I don't really talk about it much, because I, I know what it is, like, demonology, all that I know its name. It followed me home for about a month. We figured out its name, me and my bartender downstairs, so you got control over it, and I don't, we'll never say it out loud, because that's what create, manifests them again, but it followed me to my house, and it crawls. Well, I got scratched here one time, and it was the three scratches right down the center of my back. And I was like, yeah, I know who the f this is. All right. So then I went home a few days later and my chick was up on my third floor of my house. I was cooking and she started screaming for me. Right upstairs and she is like in the fetal, my ex-girlfriend is in the fetal position with her knees like up into her chest crying and she's like just shaking. I'm like, what the f is going on? And she's like, this thing crawled out of my, your closet, came up and grabbed my leg. And she had like these like bruises, like, like something grabbed her f thigh. And it's like the f movies where they're like you'll hear like three knocks dude the whole f house the walls the ceiling the floor everything's like thud, thud, thud. and all of a sudden it just got heavy and i was like oh here we can go fall and this is right after i started here i was like it f followed me home we did like what is it, the saint michael's prayer or something like that all that like you know sage all this for like a week yeah so if you see something crawling around dude i got you i noticed it dissipated here a lot of it's the negative activity was it attacked one of my buddy's kids and he's like four or five years old. He had scratches on him. We were like, who did this to you? 
and he was like, oh, Gengar upstairs. Well, Gengar's a scary looking Pokemon. So this little kid correlated this thing with a Pokemon, because that's what he knew. His parents came back up, they're good friends of mine, and uh, we went upstairs, and I'll never forget it. We had a spirit box in the room where everyone thought it manifested itself. And I was sitting up there, and I did the challenging thing. I was like, I'm sick of you attacking people, but staying invisible. I am here right now. I want you to show yourself because I'm going to you up. Just, just like that. And all of a sudden the spirit box, this angry sounding like mean voice cut through and it goes, I'm weak. And I was like, but you weren't weak a few hours ago when you attacked this little kid. You attacked a little girl earlier in the day. I'm like, but you attack these people, but I'm right here right now in your area and you won't come and attack me. Show yourself, let's do it. All of a sudden it was like, it said it again, I'm weak. I was like, you're nothing but a bully. All you can do is scratch people, but you will never show yourself and actually deal with someone who wants to deal with you. And all of a sudden, it just did this like angry like laugh. And then that was it, it was gone. I think maybe that might be what my doppelganger was because it used to be really bad on the third floor. And where was everyone seeing me go? Up to the third floor. We've had a lot more really cool stuff, like the picture I sent you of the, the white figure that looks like it's floating, and that was captured right over here. It was like a knock. There's nobody up here? No. Can you knock again? Hey, if that's you guys, I'm hanging out with Omar. We're over here in the uh, poker room. You know where it's at, by the ballroom. This is where I usually uh, like to come up when I have a few minutes and hang out with you guys. We can hear you knocking and talking. You have my full permission. Do whatever you guys would like. They just want to capture your story and spend some time with you guys. I was in the ballroom with the team and uh, one of my friends had walked into the ballroom and said, hey Michelle, come on with me. I need you to check something out in this room right here, okay? She was standing here and I walked over. I came in from this way and I'm like, okay, what's up, <laughs> you know, what do you want me to see? She goes, what do you feel? I feel nothing, and what do you hear? I, I hear nothing. So I'm telling her this, and I'm looking, feeling, seeing, and I turn around and she's gone. So what happened is when I turned, I hollered out her name and it was like completely pitch black right here. Dark of darkest. I mean, you couldn't see anything in front of my face. I hollered out her name. She didn't say anything. I looked back in, kind of looked back around like this. It looked like she moved forwards towards me, but actually what happened is that really dark, dark shadow had engulfed her. She didn't walk forward. The spirit walked back and it made her look like she went forward. And I screamed bloody effing murder. It was very scary. I ran towards the front of the stairs over here. Turn the corner and everyone's coming out and they grab me because I'm freaking out. This is like the first shadow person I've ever seen in my life. So they brought me into the ballroom. They saged me. They called it out. They hugged me. That's kind of where I learned how to do that too. They calmed me down and I said, I need to face this. I need to face this. So what I did is I came back around and I came around the corner like this and I stopped and I looked and there it was very large mass and the weird thing was it was pulsating and you could hear it and the way it sounded was and i freaking turned around went back inside the ballroom and said we're out here it was something i'll never forget and it'll be imprinted in my head for the rest of my life it scared the shit out of me You've got to be with me because there he is right there. Wow. She got the head of him, so that part in the mirror downstairs. Mm -hmm. So, like, she, we zoomed in on it, and it's the same thing. Where is that picture up? taken? That was from the ballroom looking at the poker table. You see how it's like, like it looks almost like a bandaged, like, wounded person with like their mouth open? It's like a mummy. Oh, shoot. Look at this, dude. Come he's here. like, he's like. That's in a bathroom mirror downstairs in the members' room. It's the same thing. You can see it right there, and you can see it right here. So you guys didn't know that you caught like pretty no. much the same thing? No. Mm -hmm. No. That's the same thing. This is funny. I was standing here with the SLS like this, and he's walking forward, and this black thing starts 
it comes down like this, it starts stretching and then it starts crawling up on the wall. And I got his skeletal figure as well as that. Yeah. But it was like crawling like a freaking animal. It's creepy. Yeah. It comes up from C Street door, usually up that stairwell on this side of the wall. And then it comes around this corner and it shoots this way. Okay. So it's like you're coming down the stairs. You see it come up at you on the wall and it hooks and whoop. Okay, I have something to and say. It's like, okay. I, I took a photo and caught a big mass yeah. of a man standing in this, this wall right here. See that? Yep. He's standing. There's all these, these things. Boom, boom, boom. And he's standing here. And my friends, we're right here. And the picture, you can see boom, boom, all the doors. Yeah. He was massive, and when I caught the first three photos, and I can't find the other two for some reason, but I've got the big mass, it actually was crawling up the wall, and it, I saw it, it was like boom, boom, and then it went boom. It was this big black mass. It like changed. So I'm thinking that's what that is. Did you show her the picture? I that's his picture right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, and yeah, the one we were upstairs though, uh, by the red, not the room next to the red room, it, crawled in on the ceiling. It. Now this fours. is what it changes into after it crawls. Here he is. Oh yeah. Look at how massive. That's literally. Yeah. So it, I can't yeah. even reach that. Yeah. Hour. No. But when I caught the other pictures, you could see it walking up the wall, and then it went. Boom! This big mass. That's and it's the same mass that I. Well, I got it's the same I mass that up. I captured right by by the yeah. stairs, yeah. right where the the yep. mannequins are, in between yeah. there on the wall. It'll usually come out this way, and uh, it, not, it like goes around that hallway. You seeing something? I saw something walk by. Hello. You know we're talking about you, don't you? Great, I gotta be with this thing alone later. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to the weirdest office I've ever had in my life. <laughs> so anyways, um, Omar was put trying to get his camera together and I said, hey, I'm gonna do an EVP session. I'm just gonna play my recorder and this is what I captured. There's whispering right there. There's whispering right there. That was like solid, like whispering. But she says something. It was it was. It was like f you. Yeah. Did that whisper? Yeah. It's a female. And this is yeah. Oh, there's someone mad up here right now. They're I'm lovely. hearing, I'm hearing whispering through. Lots of female whispering, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> They're around me right now. Oh, I, I keep having to look forward. Are you guys using my energy to walk around or something? I know I tell you it's okay. Is that what you're doing right now? Are you unhappy with us or? I heard footsteps. You're cursing. That is very unbecoming of you. So if you're acting like that, why don't you step in this? doorway over here and come over to us and talk to us for a little bit. Over here. Watch this. Alright. We got this uh, recorder device. Peeking? Yes. What? What was that? Dude. Someone was like crouched down looking around the corner. Yes. On the right. Can you do that one more time? Did you hear that? It just said yes. no. Yeah, that was no. Okay. Please tell me you heard that too. <laughs> yeah, no, I heard it. Literally just caught, caught me out of the corner of my hand. The pattern was just really cool, so like, it really was like, she's like, this is the Oh, what the f? What? what the f? Wait, maybe that was a show. Did you like cough or something? No! No. <laughs> I just like you freaking out. I just took a picture. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> this is you. 
I was taking a picture of you. You're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, there, I, I heard something down the stairs. Or maybe it was up the stairs. It was right around in this area. Hello? There's a pocket right here. I'm all static again. Do it again. I didn't cough. If no, I, I coughed, you'd know because oh, I've oh. been sick. <laughs> yeah, no, you'd know if it was Michelle. <laughs> I coughed like very... It was a cough or a like sniffle. A like it's super <laughs> static here. Yep. It's colder. It's here. colder here, yeah. I don't know if I want to be in here by myself later. Yeah, uh, chance, dude. If you're not feeling comfortable, you're gonna you're gonna push that energy out, and it's gonna have it's them gonna you want to feed off your, off fear. your fear. Yep, and gonna it's, gonna be it's gonna be not. Nice. Yeah. yeah, that's what I told you earlier. If they feel your fear, they will feed off of it. I know that uh, whatever I heard was, I thought it was a fourth person in here, but. You know, I know that there's nobody else here. If you come back and you need someone to investigate, you just call any of us and yeah. we'll come. Oh, for sure. Okay. We'll be here for you. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm a full on you. overnight. Y'all yeah, do for sure. Full on. People always ask me, what's the scariest place you have ever visited? This is that place. All right, fam, it is 4.10 in the morning back in Florida. So it's one o'clock in the morning. Now, my friends have left the building. It's crazy because when we were doing these interviews that our paranormal investigators, they have been here on several occasions. And I, I told them, you know, hey, why don't you tell me your best stories as they're telling me these stories upstairs we're hearing all this noise we're catching things i believe that they feed off of energy especially like when you're giving them attention and they were getting just that whatever spirits are up there down here uh where we're at right now is very haunted too we're on the first floor this is the the bar area sometimes they have like sleepovers which i was gonna do that but I, I'm gonna stay up all night. Michelle told me this story that they, it was her and another girl and there was a bunch of cots, I guess, set up in here and this was like a sleeping area. And they witnessed a person, like a ghostly person, start walking and it was came right from the crypt, which we're gonna go in there in a second. Some years ago, there was bodies upon bodies stacked back there. And uh, yeah, it was kind of used as a freezer. They didn't have anywhere else to put these bodies during a pretty horrific event. But something walked out of there and was looking at everybody sleeping. And a few people witnessed this, including my friend Michelle. So we were in the room next to the red room. There was probably, what, eight or nine of us? We all sat on the floor. First we were investigating and then after that we kind of got off topic and started just conversing amongst ourselves. And then as soon as we weren't really paying attention, I started noticing a shadow figure down the hall and it was shaped like a man peeking out at us. And I did it four times. And I kept saying, dude, there's a man staring at us, like peeking at us. And a couple people said, oh, oh, I see it too. And then next thing I know, it disappears and I don't see it. And my twin sister was with us and she saw it crawling on all fours all the way into the room. And she goes, dude, there's something above you. And I look up and it crawled in almost like grudge style. It was black. It looked like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. It had red eyes and it turned its head like an owl. And he stopped, and when he stopped, it was right above where my head was. And he was looking at all of us. And everybody was in shock, and we were dumbfounded by what we were seeing, because I've never seen where that many people saw the same thing. At that point, everybody kind of got up, and because we had our friend's kids with us, they're teenagers in high school, they were a little bit freaked out. So they were like, we're, we're done. And we're like, okay, let's go. Oh, just, man, just telling that story gives me the heebie-jeebies, but I'm gonna show you around. This is the museum here at the Washoe Club. And if you don't know who Ghost Adventures is, they did a segment here and they were pretty freaked out. 
From some of the people that I've talked to, they told me I'm crazy. They're like, Omar, you're gonna go in there alone? I mean, just being up there with a few people during the day, I was terrified. So I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Should be interesting. But hey, I wanna show you around a little bit. This in here is, oh God, it's scary. Let me turn the light on. But this is where the blue lady has been seen. And if you go on the Roadside America app, it talks about this staircase here in Virginia City and it being haunted. Some people have captured this woman in the mirror. Yeah, you cannot walk up this staircase because it's dangerous. Look at that, it's beautiful. You in here with me? I know your name. You can see that is the bar area. And people cleared that out like early. It was like 10 o'clock and they were out. And it's funny cause we kept hearing noises as if there were people down at the bar area but there wasn't anybody down there. Interesting. Here's some fun information. This was on Ripley's Believe It or Not. A lot of squeaky floors. So I did a video in Virginia City showing how vacant, I'm just gonna use the word dead, how dead it is at nighttime i mean it's pretty live especially during the weekends as soon as the sun goes down everybody just clears and stays so far away not a lot of people live here i think it's i don't know maybe the population's like 100 people it's very small town but a lot of visitors come in the lights go out everybody's gone it's like a ghost town it's so quiet i am gonna eventually do another video where i'm out walking around Virginia City by myself. Supposedly you can hear like ghostly carriages and like people walking and that's one thing that I didn't really get to, I mean, I didn't know about it so I didn't get to really acknowledge it. But here's a couple blown up pictures of that blue lady ghost that has been seen and oh gosh, look at these creepy looking dolls. Is that why it's so haunted here? Why is this the most haunted place in America? Okay, here's another picture of the blue lady. Supposedly a man's face in this. I can't really see it. Well, I've never seen an orb that big. That's amazing. Cool. This is the only Ouija board you'll see in here. You're not allowed to bring them and play on them. Yeah, that is forbidden here. No mortals beyond this point. Oh my God, it's so cold in here. <laughs> Tiffany was in here when we were getting a tour and she felt something like mess with her. I'm not sure if it was her hair getting pulled or she got touched, but the tour guide had asked her, she was like, you just got touched. And she was like, oh, really? Because she thought I maybe touched her. And But yeah, that happened in here. There's a really interesting picture too that Justin, who runs this place, showed me. And it's, I don't know, it looks like a little girl. But yeah, some people that come in here experience rocks getting thrown at them. Can you throw a rock at me? 
Actually, don't throw a rock at me because I don't want to get hurt. But the, what the freak is that? I just saw something looking down at me right now. You gonna drop a rock or what? What is this? A free spirit is just an old soul with all its karma paid. Nothing to prove, nothing. Created by nature and Carla. <laughs> I was talking to a tour. They were on their way out as I was walking in and, you know, doing my my time here. Uh, yeah, they do a lot of daytime tours. Very affordable to come here during the day. Highly recommend. And they do catch things during the day. You don't have to... give you one more chance can you just make a rock fall from one of these walls or just do a light tap for me how about that I appreciate that thanks for the light tap I'm leaving. Thank you for allowing me to be in your space. When you come here for a night tour, they do show you around, they help you out, share some of the history with you. But yeah, as there was the, the last tour or so, it was a couple, it was a, a guy and a girl. And I asked them like, you know, hey, was, did anything happen? Cause I, we ran into them while we were upstairs and they were like, yeah, a rock got thrown at us inside the crypt so they didn't get hurt or anything but yeah i would have liked to see a rock fall we did get the tap it's gonna be a really scary night you ain't seen nothing are the original stairs I mean, just to give you an idea I mean you got wood like this in Florida <laughs> forget about it it just rots away I mean, yeah it's all crooked and stuff but hey it still works it's functional oh gosh we gotta go in there all alone Ugh. Boy, it's dark in there. Whew. Keep your eyes open, fam. Let me know if you see something that I miss. I'm sure, it's gonna be a lot. Hello? in this very same room right here during the day and I heard footsteps up above and there was nobody up there oh, there is a third floor we're gonna go up there in a second probably one of the most scariest
was talking to Justin, the guy that runs this place. This is pretty cool. They're going to be restoring a lot of this and bringing it back to its 1800s charm. I'm excited to see that because this is, I mean, a lot of this is just kind of falling apart. And I mean, just like with most haunted places, it doesn't matter if they fix it up, like it's still going to be haunted. doesn't matter. I mean, maybe it might be more active. Who knows? Oh gosh, that scared me. Willie Nelson. That was just a prop. Oh gosh! Ooh. So my friend Michelle, this is the area that she was she was in when she was talking about this black mass hovering over started out in here or something and then it like appeared right in front of her and it started doing this strange like pulsing like it was like pulsating going wah, watch it was even making a, a strange noise this was believe on on a tv show That's the ballroom. We're gonna save that room for last. A lot of activity happens in there. Sometimes not friendly either. Now, earlier I was doing a interview with Casey and she was sitting on that couch right there and I heard something out here and I wander off. And right down here, I, I heard like a cough or it's, I don't know if it was down there or maybe up the stairs. And I swore there was another person in here and there was nobody. It really freaked me out. this room very well Ooh. so there's a story of a man that lost his 16 year old son who was walking and he fell into a ventilation for a mine shaft he was killed instantly it's a really sad story I mean it broke the father's heart so bad that he committed suicide in this very same room right here and there's been a couple of investigations, one real recent too, where they were using this device is called the Oculus, I believe. They were asking questions and it said suicide. Give us any other sign that you're here. Touch something. Suicide. What? <gasps> Shit. And didn't he commit suicide? Yep. And uh, due to his grief, he took a gun to his head and ended his life right here in this room. Oh my god, there it is. Yeah. May you rest in peace and your son too. Oh, also, it was pretty interesting. I was standing over there and I think I asked for something to happen. And then all of a sudden this thing went like flying from right to left to me it kind of looked like maybe the plastic and maybe like the but it was like oh it was like on command oh, is that a moose just notice that holy crap is that real oh, 
You making all that noise, dude? Really sorry. Bruh. I glanced at this doll earlier and her eyes were closed. Dude, your eyes look weird. Some of you see anything in the mirror. Some some spirits can use them. I'm protected by the blood of Jesus. Nothing can cause harm to me or my family. That is such a creepy looking yeah, organ. What the heck? You causing all that trouble? I hear you get up and walk around. Is that true? Hmm. This place it's a little different at nighttime. I mean, it hits way different than any other place. Totally get lost in here. Oh my gosh. Bruh. I don't know who made these props, but they are freaky looking. And you are you are really cute. Oh! haunted room or one of the most haunted rooms Okay, the story about this room. Some say that pretty feisty elderly man haunts this room right here and he's known to slam this door. And a couple people have picked up EVPs, even the spare box of him saying, close the door. So I think they leave it open to kind of provoke him a little bit. I think it's actually kind of mean. The thing what I don't understand is why would he want that door closed if this one's open right here? Oh cool, a tripod.
heard some voices in here. Be sure to take some screenshots, almost like if you're taking pictures from my video, because chances are I'm probably catching so much. But what I'm looking for is this shadow figure that everybody keeps seeing. And people have seen him like wearing a cowboy hat. When I was in here earlier, I saw a little... peeking up above the rails from the second floor. So we're on the floor where he would be. Okay, I'm lost already. Yeah, it was right here. Right there, there was a little kid peeking. People have been pushed down these stairs. Has it happened to me? As I was trying to go downstairs for a bathroom break, on my way out of the door, I felt a pressure on my back, as if something was trying to get me out of there, in a hurry. I'm actually recording on my iPhone right now, so. Uh, just a bit ago, I left my camera gear, my, my lights, well, most of my lights, I got a couple lights over there. Um, and I brought this and my phone just to go down, and I recorded it just in case, because I didn't have my camera on me, but I recorded myself leaving, you know, going up the, the other set of stairs and coming out here. And this goes out to, you know, the crypt area. Oh. On my way out, I felt something almost like escorting me out. It was like pushing me out the door. And it did not, did not feel very welcoming. It freaked me out. It, it really freaked me out. And now, I don't know what to do. I don't want to come back in here and piss off whatever does not want me here. Really unsettling feeling. Like I'm absolutely terrified right now. Terrified. Like I don't know what to do. Should I wait till the sun comes up? It's three in the morning. It's about six in the morning my time. I've been here for, I don't know, 10 hours or so, but you know, for about two of those hours, I did have a couple people here with me. And of course they take off and all hell breaks loose. I mean, it was already pretty active when they were here. I mean, I, we were doing these interviews and there was things happening all around us. My light is turned off. Lucky for me, my keys and my book bag, everything is on the other side of the Washu Club. Wanna know the worst part about everything right now? When I go downstairs to the crypt area that I showed you earlier, something tugged on my crucifix. I'm wearing a crucifix right now. It did this, like my neck moved. Something pulled on my crucifix. I messaged the owner or the manager and because he told me, you know, hey, like I'm up late. If you need me, you let me know. Well, I, like I, I want to get out of here. I don't want to manifest whatever was trying to push me out. So many thoughts were running through my head. What do I do? It's freezing outside. Everything is inside and I'm terrified to go back in. It's three o'clock in the morning and all I have is my phone on me. Should I wait until the sun comes up? I went ahead and called Justin to see if he can give me a hand. All right, 
fam. I did not successfully complete this alone challenge. Had to have my boy Justin come and, and kind of rescue me. You know what? Like, I, I'm going to film a little bit more because I do feel a little bit safer having him around. You know, if I get attacked physically, you know, it has happened. When was the last time somebody's been, like, physically, like, attacked here? Well, if you want to say scratches, I did have a girl get scratches while she was sitting at the bar, I think, two days ago. Two days ago. Actually, yeah. That's pretty recent. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, and I, I did share it with Justin. When I was downstairs in the area where I guess that girl got scratched, I've never had this happen. I've worn crucifixes on so many explorers. Something was pulling. It was like to the point where my neck like went down. And he said that he had witnessed, it was like two pretty skeptical people, right? They didn't believe a thing. And what happened to, uh, they were wearing a crucifix? Yeah, one of them had like a little cross necklace and uh, I was like, can you tell us some more about this stuff? So I started talking about it and his necklace broke at the chain. And you know, like this is a cross, so it's going this way. When it broke off, it went this way and it like fell. So it would be basically upside down, like right in between his feet. What? It was, it was insane. The whole thing just shattered apart. It was pretty cool. So do things not like crucifixes here? Depends on what's active running around the building. I think some stuff was, does, some stuff doesn't. Whatever you were talking about earlier, maybe that doesn't. I think so. <gasps> Things move in here, don't they? piece of brick get thrown earlier when we were coming up. Oh, that's right. I wasn't recording that. Something, it was like a rock or something got thrown in here. It was a part of a brick? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're just going to shoot through it and replicate the sound. I don't know where to roll to. Maybe shoot both through it so this way. I was going to say we could find it. That'd be awesome. But it was like a tiny little piece of brick that was just sitting over there. And there's no reason why brick should be on this side of the room because the brick walls are like right there. And we all heard that. There were four of us. We all room. heard it, yeah. The brick hit four and scattered across it. I thought maybe a piece of plaster or something broke off or... No, it was a solid plaster. Oh, there is brick up there. Yeah, it was like solid brick chunks. Of, but it was sitting right here. Uh -huh. And earlier there was no brick because I found a torque ticket sitting on this thing. So I was standing over this. And in fact, the torque ticket still sit inside that thing. So as we were doing those interviews that you've seen earlier in this video, we kind of broke off and we're just kind of exploring and talking and stuff and maybe doing some mild investigating, you know, with, with them. And my friend Michelle was using uh, like an EVP recorder. And what do you call it? Just, it's just a voice recorder, right? Yeah, it's not looking to me. It's just a little voice recorder. Well, what's really creepy is like, it's almost like whatever came through on that voice recorder. Said your name. It said my name, but in a really creepy voice. It was just like, oh, more. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm going to hopefully be yeah, able to share creepy, that dude. with you. That was creepy. It was almost like they were, whatever is here was waiting for everybody to leave to like pick on me. I feel like a bully type vibe. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I think I told you that earlier. I was like, when the one of the darker things here, it, it suppresses all the good stuff. It's like a bully. It's a bully. It, it's like a bully. The way I got pushed out, I've, I've been on so many explorers and investigations. I've never been physically pushed out of a location to the point where I was ready to leave all my stuff behind. A huge shout out to Justin though. Okay, because without him, this video would not, like I was ending my video. I was ending it, it was done. Yeah, it was like a knock or something. It was. Is it? Should we knock back? Can you guys knock on the door again? You're gonna have to do something better than that, guys. You know. I came back down to hang out with you now. Came from back here. Back, yeah. Yeah, it was back. It's not like this common area over this direction. There's a camera on the mess. Oh, bro. 
this is like, I don't know. I've, I've never felt what I felt here. Yeah, I'd say that's a very, very powerful building. It's almost like the building itself is its own entity. Right. That's probably the best way to describe it. And we are the belly of the beast, if you will. It's like so much emotion in one place. Mm -hmm. I could almost feel, I don't know, 10,000 hauntings. If that makes any sense. But there's something here that I think kind of takes over everything. And that's what was trying to push me out the door. All right, well, I'm going to grab my backpack that's over here with my keys. Video's not over, though. Uh, we're going to hang for a little bit. What was trying to push me out the door? Oh, s slow down. Tell me, who is this? Killer? It said killer. Mm. Are, you, are you are you a killer? Do you want to kill me? You hate me? What's your name? Say that again. What's your name? Pap. Pap? Yeah. Alright, I'm hearing like many names. Is your name many? It is. Seen that thing peek around again? Yeah, bro. It was on the exactly on the right side. Yep. Can you peek around that corner again? Yep. Yep. It likes the darkness. Come see. You heard it. It said, "Come see." Mm -hmm. It's trying to bait us to go that way. If you want us to come that way, can you peek around that corner again? Can you walk around? This is a mutual give and take. If you want to get something out of us, we have to get something out of you. I just want to peek around the right hand side. can't I can't tell if it was like coming from like maybe peeking around around like this side ah! Ah! bruh bruh okay. I just broke my shit right now dude yeah, I, I don't know I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know it felt like I tripped or some shit, but I, I think something shoved me from behind dude you got shoved Cause you didn't trip. You went literally like. Oh, bro, my back hurts really bad right now. Like, look at my. Can you see the middle? Yeah, right through here. Yeah, that's exactly. There's actually looks like a little like two, two scratches for me. Oh god. Yeah. I need to get the f out of here, bro. Yeah, you got. It. Hold on, let me get the truth on. On. They go away quick. What the. Is in here. I'm gonna turn this off. Oh shit, four oh, right. Shit. right here. Is it possible to get pushed and scratched? I would assume so. That was not like the push that I felt earlier though. The first push was like a little, oh, it, it was kind of like, okay, like, like, like walk a little bit. Like, like a pressure. It, like. it was, it was kind of like, yeah, like just a little, like, yeah. no, like that something was like that. 
That was hard because when I saw you, because you went to come back, because you were like, I'm not sure if it's over here, or over here, you turned and you went like this. And it was like, all of a sudden, dude, you were pitched forward. Like, you were pitched forward, and like, you were like, what the f Bro, I got, I, I'm, all right, I'm done. I'm done. I gotta get the out of here. I, mean, I gotta get the out of here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck this place, bro. This place. No, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Hey, if you think you're big and bad pushing people around and stuff, you're not. Yo, you cannot follow me home. Whatever is here, you stay the f here. Do not ever touch me again. This is my body. You do not have our permission to follow me or Omar home. Do you understand? Allow us to leave here peacefully. Yeah, whatever you are trying to be a big bully, you keep doing this and I will deal with you. Bro, I got some holy water. Sorry about your camera. No, it's it's okay. I mean, I'm I'm glad I, you know, I didn't get seriously injured. No, but it I you were coming, you turned around to look at me and then all of a sudden you were pitched across. Like you went across the room. Like you were like you flailed forward like I thought like I tripped over something. Yeah. But then I felt, it almost felt exactly like that same push, but harder. No, that was hard, because the way your body pivoted forward, you were up on your toes, like, unnaturally forward. Like, like it looked like someone just, you know you what I'm actually saying? Saw, you actually saw I saw that? you go forward. Like, I was sitting here watching you do your thing. That's when I, I was just chilling. And then I saw you go, I can't tell if it was, you were like, literally, I can't tell if it's from that side or this side, that side or this side. And you turned around to look at me, and then you came across that room quick scared bro like i've i've never been in a place that like i got attacked like this yeah yeah bro i'm f like I don't, I don't even want to walk how am i gonna, how am I gonna get the out of here like i have to walk through that room where i got pushed yeah because all your equipment's all on that side all right i just i got you some got holy it. water put a cross on my forehead give you some bro awesome yeah whatever it is it's What's the safest place to get out of here? Like, do that. This place is a maze, but that's the only way out. We we gotta just just bite the bullet and commit, brother. Bro, where did you see that thing peeking out? Was it here or over there? Because I felt Everyone like I was seeing it on this side. When I was talking about that, that's when like I, seen it on this I thought side. my foot got caught in something, and then I felt a nudge or some behind me. There's nothing really down on the floor that you can actually get your foot caught on. To be honest with you, in this room especially, it's pretty level. I don't know if you're supposed to use holy water like this, but bruh. You know, I'm not saying it's evil. It's a bully. Wait, I left. I left my camera. My, I left my bag. Yeah, you did. Let's go get it. Dude, there it goes. There it goes again. There it goes again. There it goes again, bro. It's pulling on my crucifix. It's yeah. pu it was pulling on my crucifix. Right when we were passing that room. We cannot go in that room again. We cannot go in that room. Nope. Go away. Like my hairs are all standing yeah, up are. right now. Look at that. It's like the static balloon on my hairs. Yeah, they are. Why are you pulling on my crucifix? Do not touch me or Justin. Leave us alone. Oh my God. Oh my God. The f holy water just moved on the table. It just moved on the table. It did this. I don't know if my camera caught that from far away. Hopefully it did. I'm gonna leave that here. I'm trying to possess my holy water now. That was a present from my friend Tammy, by the way. Thank you, Tammy. But I have to leave that here. That too? Yeah. Yeah.
Can you say something audible so we can hear it with our own ears? Can you stop? Move something. You can stop above us. Can you go like this? If you want us to leave, stop. Knock. Say something. Especially me. It knows I'm scared and it's feeding off of it. It is. Let's get rid of it. We'll go around this way. Bro, how do you how do you how do you come up here all the time? Uh I unlock the door and walk in. I don't look. <laughs> You get used to it, honestly, to a point, bro. I'm not, I can't get used to something messing with me like that. Usually, I haven't had it mess with me much, like, to that point. These lights were fully charged, and they're going to have them on. But they're obviously taking them off. Right. Stay here. here. Don't let the mannequin right here get you. <laughs> you that's, know what? That's how it gets everyone, bro. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of an epiphany. Something was warning me to get out right. because it knew that there was something back over there that, was that wanted to yep. try to hurt me. Yeah. And it and it did. My back hurts right now. Like my back. Let me look at it again. No, uh, it's fine. It's 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 just a. It's like a sore pain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Almost like a bee sting. Um. Is how mine was when I got scratched. Mine feels like a like I got punched. Hmm. Like a punch in the back. Was it on this doorway or this doorway? You're like, because I feel like I'm seeing it on either side. I can't tell the difference. You were looking at them. You turned around to come through that doorway, and the next thing I knew, you were like up. Like if I was up like off the ground. Pushed you. It's like you know when you go forward like that. Right. You're forward and like you like flailed like this and went like, across the room. Like right. you, you looked like something legit thumped you. Your mannerisms weren't that of like just a trip. Like, cause if you trip over something like, like this is a trip hazard, if yeah. you trip, you're just gonna just kind of like drag. No, you were up and across the room. You know what it felt like? Like you said, you broke the bottom of your camera, like your light fell off. Stay here, do not follow me home. Hell no, do not follow me. I don't follow anybody that comes here. You're a big bully, whoever you are. After what happened to me here tonight, I considered never making a video like this again. Mm, nah, I'll do it again. <laughs>